Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. According to the article, stocks were mostly flat, except there was one huge exception in regards to Tesla's TSLA shares. Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturing company which also specializes in energy storage, energy generation, as well as artificial intelligence. Despite Tesla reporting a dip in their revenues on Tuesday, their share price absolutely was ignited after Elon Musk, which is their CEO, said that their less expensive electric vehicle will come to market pretty soon. As of right now, many analysts and investors are speculating that this new cheaper electric vehicle will come out sometime during the year of 2025, and this is why Tesla's share price jumped by 12% all the way up to $162.13 per share. In my personal opinion, I think Tesla is an absolute steal below $200 and I have been loading the boat on this company when they were around $150 per share, but before you make any investment decision, always make sure to do your own research. But that's not all, because over the last two days, Tesla shares have actually gained around $28 worth of value per share, increasing by around 17.4%. And although most of this growth momentum is due to Tesla's cheaper electric low-priced vehicle, which will come out sometime during the year of 2025, there were also a few other reasons why investors are jumping in back on this company. As an example, one of these reasons has to do with CATL, which is one of the world's largest electric vehicle battery makers, and they recently unveiled a battery that could go up to 600 miles on a single charge. On top of that, the charging time for this particular battery is rather fast, considering that it could charge up to 375 miles in just 10 minutes. And lastly, one of the reasons why this company is surging in their share price is because soon they will meet a resistance level of around $175. And if Tesla's share price exceeds $175, not only would this be a huge win for investors, but that resistance level will then translate and convert over to a support level making it more difficult for the company's share price to drop below $175, so investors can look forward to that. In other stock news, you should be aware that Hasbro, ticker symbol HAS, reported profits that beat expectations. If you didn't know, Hasbro specializes in card games, board games, and toys. And although their toy division recently encountered some losses, the margins from their card games, particularly Magic the Gathering, more than offset any of these potential and actual losses. Yet despite Despite Hasbro beating on their profits and exceeding expectations, the company's share price is still trading sideways right now. In other news, let's quickly talk about cryptocurrencies before we dive into the best stocks to buy right now. So let's start off this news update with Binance. Recently, the Binance co-founder pleaded guilty to violating US anti-money laundering rules, and he will have an official sentence on Tuesday. Obviously, this will cause reverberations throughout the cryptocurrency market, and if that does happen, I imagine that this will be rather short-lived but only time will tell. Now let's talk about the best stocks to buy, starting off with Intel, ticker symbol INTC. If you didn't know, Intel is the largest personal computer processors maker, and they recently dropped in their share price recently after giving lackluster forecasts for their financial results. They currently forecast and project that their sales in the second quarter will be around $13 billion. However, this is below analysts' estimates because analysts thought the company was going to bring in around $13.6 billion for their upcoming forecasts. Therefore, since analysts' estimates are actually higher than what the company is actually forecasting, this is reflecting negatively on their respected share price. To make matters even worse, their profit will be around $0.10 cents a share minus certain items versus a projection of $0.24 cents per share, so again, this company is not living up to expectations in regards to these estimates and forecasts. So with all of this negative type news coming out, why are investors flooding into this stock? Well, I'll tell you. Although the company's financial results and forecasts do seem lackluster and they are growing slower than expected, the chief financial officer of the company actually expects major improvement to take place later this year during the second half of the year. Therefore, it would be wise for investors to accumulate shares in the first half of the year while the company's share price is slumping because investors are short-sighted and they are selling this company, but later on this company could surge and here's why. 
According to the article, Intel remains optimistic about the second half of the year because it's rolling out a new version of their gaudy chip. And according to Intel, this product line will bring in about $500 million worth of sales this year. You should also be aware of a huge upcoming catalyst for this company because recently the company signed another company for its production technology called 18A, which Intel will officially unveil and introduce in 2025. Microsoft is one of Intel's customers, and they plan to rely on Intel to produce certain types of in-house chip designs that the software maker is working on. Thereby, by Intel doing business with a tech giant like Microsoft, this is great news going forward for this company. That means over the long term, this company could increase in their share price pretty aggressively, even though during the first half of the year, the company could slump in their overall share price. But again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about one of my personal favorite companies and that is none other than Alphabet, which is the parent company to Google and YouTube. And their ticker symbol is G-O-O-G, -O -O and they also have another ticker symbol named G-O-O-G-L. The main reason why Alphabet is in the news right now is because the company is paying around 20 cents per share for a dividend in regards to their stock, and this will start on July 17th. Obviously, it's amazing when you can find a growth company that also gives you a dividend. And the other reason why this company is in the news today, and why it's a great stock to buy right now, now is because their share price jumped by 12%. In my personal opinion, Alphabet is one of the best artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now, and including this new dividend that the company is introducing, this is absolutely fantastic news for long-term investors. So always make sure to do your own research. And I'm also going out on a limb here saying that you probably use Google and YouTube on a day-to-day -day basis, so why not invest into the company behind these two giants? Also, I want to further encourage you to do your own research. Don't buy this company just because I am buying into this company right now, because your long-term goals and your investment assets and your age and a lot of other variables are going to be a lot different than mine. So again, always make sure to do your own research to determine whether or not it's good for your personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about another tech giant, which would be none other than a Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. And of course, I'm a huge fan of Microsoft. The reason why Microsoft is in the news is because they recently released their earnings results to where Microsoft earned around $2.94 per share and they also brought in revenues of $61.86 billion. So let me tell you why this is great news. Well, for starters, analysts anticipated that Microsoft would bring in around $2.84 per share, but they actually beat that estimate by bringing in $2.94 per share. Likewise, analysts thought the company was going to bring in around $60.89 billion worth of revenue, but they actually crushed this expectation and they brought in $61.86 billion worth of revenue, which is great news. Clearly, this great news translated into a higher share price, causing the MSFT stock to jump by around 4% in their respected share price. These results were so good that the chairman of Microsoft even had to say the following, and I quote, Microsoft Copilot and Copilot Stack are orchestrating a new era of AI transformation, driving better business outcomes across every role and industry, end quote. It doesn't take a genius to see how Microsoft is making loads of money off of artificial intelligence, but we get even better news. Just listen to what this analyst had to say about Microsoft, and I quote, Microsoft had a blowout earnings report for the March quarter with a big growth in Asia cloud, signaling strong AI demand. He goes on to say, the reacceleration of Azure growth to 31%, far above analyst estimates at 28%, and positive indications from the company suggest Copilot and the AI transformation are now driving growth, leading to a $1 billion revenue beat for quarter one. The stock is richly valued due to artificial intelligence, and Microsoft is one of the companies delivering on the AI promise." End quote. At the end of the day, Microsoft is one of the best stocks that you could possibly hold in your portfolio, and thanks to artificial intelligence and the hype around it, we know that the future of this company looks very bright. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about Microsoft, and tell me whether or not you personally own it in your portfolio, because I certainly do. Next up, let's talk about IPO news in regards to Rubrik, and if you didn't know, Rubrik is a cybersecurity company. The reason why Rubrik is in the news is because they recently went public on the stock market, and they surged by over 15% in their respected share price. Many analysts believe that Rubrik can protect data and make loads of money doing it. And this is why Rubik's share price jumped by 17% up to $37 when they debuted on the stock market. According to the CEO, he says, We were preparing for this moment for several years, and the market was receptive. And obviously, I agree with that, and you can see the excitement that investors have for this particular cybersecurity firm. When the firm debuted, they were around $32, but at stock 
broke open, they actually traded for around $38.60 per share. Initially, the company was valued at around $5.6 billion. So now let's talk about how much money they're bringing in, whether or not they are profitable, if I'm buying this company, and what investors think of them overall, so we can determine whether or not they are a good buying opportunity right now. So let's get right into it. First, we have to remember that Rubrik is a cybersecurity company that is in their growth phase. And they have to prove their growth to investors in Wall Street before people actually invest into this company, in my opinion. As of right now, this company is growing rather rapidly, considering that their subscription revenue rose by 40% up to $537.9 million. And with a market cap of around $5.6 billion, they are not that expensive compared to the revenues that they are bringing in. But there is a catch here, because the company did disclose a loss of $354 million, and their leadership has declined to give a precise timeline on when they anticipate this company will become profitable. And for me, I think that's relatively problematic. Therefore, in the meantime, I'm going to put my money in other cybersecurity firms, and I will put this company on a watch list, because there's no sense in me jumping in right now. However, I would always encourage you to do your own research to determine whether or not this company could be good for your personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Snapchat, which is a social media company, and their ticker symbol is SNAP, ticker name Snap. And the reason why Snapchat is in the news is because their sales jumped by 21% during the first quarter, and their share price followed suit by jumping by more than 25% in after hours trading. The reason for all of this enthusiasm is in regards to their earnings report, which they brought in. So let's talk about it. According to the report, the company brought brought in an adjusted $0.03 cents per share on the positive side, and they also brought in sales of $1.2 billion. Now, these may not seem like crazy numbers, however, according to what Wall Street was projecting for this company, they had great beats on both their earnings per share as well as their revenue. As an example, they were anticipated to bring in a loss of $0.05 cents per share in regards to their earnings per share, but they actually brought in $0.03 cents positive for their EPS, which is a huge improvement. Similarly, for the company's sales and revenues, the company brought in $1.2 billion, but analysts only thought they were going to bring in around $1.12 billion. So again, they beat in this regard as well. Investors were so impressed with this that they decided to buy more stock, and that's why the company jumped in their overall share price, even though over the short term, I do believe this company will pull back. This type of growth momentum of 25% in a short amount of time is literally begging for the company's share price to start trending downwards, at least temporarily. So please be careful and be aware of that. According to various financial reporters, they believe that Snapchat's sales growth appears to be bouncing back after a digital ad market slump, which started back in the year of 2022. So this recent growth that they've experienced could actually continue over the next few quarters, and that's exactly what investors are betting on right now. To add even more good news to this, Snapchat executives sent a letter to shareholders which says, and I quote, Revenue growth is improving faster than we anticipated. So thanks to this recent momentum, many investors are piling back into this company. Meanwhile, we also saw the daily active user numbers for this company also increase by around 10% year over year, up to 422 million. But the news gets even better, because the company expects this number to reach 431 million users by the end of June. With all of these positive news updates, the stock really only had one direction to go, and that was up. But with that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these stories. Don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.